swine flu could infect half of USA. The global flu pandemic expected to return to the USA this fall may or could infect as much as half of the US population. Flooding hospitals with nearly 2 million patients and causing 30,000 to 90,000 deaths, more or less, according to the first official forecast of the scope of the flu season now beginning or taking shape. The new report released Monday by the White House was prepared by the President's Council of Advisors on Science and Technology and offers a forecast as the most plausible of a range of scenarios that reflect the potential effect of a new form of H1N1 flu known as swine flu which they used to call pestilence and which the report calls a serious health threat to the United States. While this is not the 1918 flu pandemic it affects younger people more and serious complications do occur, said panel co-chairman Eric Lander, director of the Broad Institute of Harvard and MIT. He warns that infants and children, pregnant women, and people with chronic illnesses are at special risk of serious complications. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention estimates that nearly 2 million people nationwide have already been infected with the virus and at least 522 have died. But flu experts worry that cases will mount, increase as youngsters, kids return to school and as cold weather drives people indoors. We think it's very likely cases will increase. One of the council's goals was to use scenarios drawn from experience to identify crucial health concerns and guide the government's response. The report concludes that the coming flu season will more likely resemble 1957 which killed 70,000 people or 1968 when 34,000 died. There's a whole lot of uncertainty, great uncertainty about what we're going to be seeing as this develops said White House Homeland Security Advisor John Brennan. We're trying to find a way to deal with various scenarios. The report calls for the government to intensify efforts to track infections and hospitalizations and to advocate common sense prevention. Among them, making sure that sick people can get refunds to sporting events and that sick children who rely on school lunches can get them without infecting classmates. The science advisors also urge the government to press vaccine makers to speed up production by one month by beginning to fill and distribute vials before clinical trials are completed. Without accelerating vaccine production, they say, the first doses may not become available until after the swine flu season peaks and that's not good. So in response the government has asked manufacturers to put vaccine in vials as soon as they are ready the administration says. The report also asserts that an influx of flu patients may clog hospital emergency rooms and intensive care units. It could be or it's possible that at a time of peak demand 50 to 100 percent of ICU beds in an area might be used for flu virus cases. They're often close to capacity without but the virus or the influenza. And it could be worse than they say more or less because there are many mutations or mutations could happen with this flu virus and 
there could be something even more going on here. Something bigger than all this. Yes, they used to call it pestilence. And it's increasing. Most likely, the H1N1 virus or swine flu virus, it probably will get worse. It will increase. And once again, there's something more going on here. Much more. Something bigger than all this. And everything is connected. Everything that must change, must change rapidly. Real change must happen. And these are more signs of the end times transition days. Yes, once again, the transition is ongoing. Happening daily all around the world.